Last time on Good Neighbors. Louis Steele, a sort of pen pal of Flint's, has come to suspect that something supernatural is at play in his life. Flint directed Louis to his haven, an enchanted storage unit which magically keeps out monsters, and Louis couldn't get in. Fearful that Louis was a lycanthrope, the Good Neighbors retraced his steps back to a destroyed motorboat, where June divined that the beast within is aware, Gator. Uh, sorry, are you actually using oops? I would love to use oops at this moment. I don't know if it's something in the article that I'm finding or something on the beach, but I want to find something. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, what you, you find is, uh, okay, we're, 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 we're really testing my improv metal with this one. Uh, as you are, uh, reading about how this woman has wrestled a gator and, and how she was able to do so in, like, its home environment, the same like the Steve Irwin or someone would wrestle a gator underwater, uh, I, I think you, uh, uh, learn that, uh, she had unfortunately encountered it in a situation where it is, like, heavily in uh, like a saltwater v freshwater scenario like she was she found it in saltwater which is not the usual environment for the gator uh, and what that reflects right here to where you are uh, in regards to like the beach here leads to saltwater it's not a lake it's the it's like open sea into I believe the Gulf of Mexico and uh, this this ping is, is, is just interesting to you uh, as in the, the the sort of transfer between the two the uh, gator was sluggish a little bit weaker, seemed a little bit sicker, uh, and uh, was like less willing to fight. Uh, so I think you learn that uh, uh, in a contaminated water scenario, you might be able to slow the senses of a wear gator. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this! It's actually getting panned out. So uh, yeah, if we uh, if we are somehow able to make it fight in some kind of salt water pool or something or an ocean, maybe, maybe we get can, some chlorine. Uh... Yeah, or, well, I don't know if chlorine or what, I don't know how... Get in the swimming pool. Or we can call any major corporation, and in one to two years, the entire water source will be polluted. That Lewis throws good. up again as you have this one conversation. I, I think Beck is going to try to, like, lead Lewis back to the car, and is going to try to... He is to... clenching your arms so tight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean on Flint to, to get back to the car. I think that spell took a lot out of me, and I'm... I'm really fucking feeling it uh at the beach as they're all leaving can i do an investigative mystery absolutely uh that will be a nine a nine uh what what happened here what sort of creature is it what can it do what can hurt it where did it go what was it going to do what is being concealed here hold one uh i would like to while they're all walking away sort of look at where wherever this attack was and see if I can find tracks to see where did it go. Okay, where did it go? Uh, as you are, are, are like looking through the, the sand here, uh, the rain has largely uh, uh, kind of cut away at it, so your only real jumping off point is the fact that uh, the, the sand in places is bloodied. And as you start like, uh, uh, like making your way across here, uh, you can tell that uh, where did it go, that at some point, Lewis hopped up onto the docks into the sort of industrial zone. And uh, in Constance, it's not unreasonable for uh, gators to be around, not necessarily in this area, but every now and again, they do get into the sewers and end up in more inhabited zones. Like the the uh, like urban myth of like a sewer gator or like one that comes out of your toilet is actually legitimate here. Gotcha. So ostensibly, uh, Lewis was either in, was, was reasonably among buildings in this form at some point and it's possible that if there are more of these they could be too gotcha uh and it seemed to lead over towards the like industrial docks correct mm -hmm. yep cool, cool. all right i'm gonna catch up with the rest of them i think at, at this uh as you guys are all kind of collecting and getting back over to the car uh who gave their uh phone information to uh dr garcia uh me Flint. for sure oh, i'm still okay. trying to be his literary agent 
Uh, yeah. Uh, then, uh, as you guys kind of catch up to one another and are, are near the car, as uh, Lewis uh, is like, you can't really see his face, but he is definitely pale and weak and like falling over. And he knows he can't take off the mask, but God, does he want to? Uh, well, once we're in the car, and he's he, able to, thanks to uh, yeah, yeah, June's. Mm -hmm. As you you sit in the car, he he does uh, do it, and the car, of course, reeks as as he like now allows this sort of scent to fill the the, the room here or the, the the car. Aren't you glad the top can't go up now? <laughs> Not particularly. No. Uh, I'm gonna take the mask out of the bubble and like. Mm -hmm wash it off real quick and then bring it back through the bubble and all of the uh the the germy germs should be banished from it right good 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 that makes sense yeah yeah because it, it couldn't pass through the barrier there perfect uh yeah. you you let it through uh you wash out the mask and he takes it it still kind of smells because water can only do so much uh but otherwise it's okay and at this moment as you guys are all sitting in the car uh cassius your phone lights up i'm okay, gonna uh pick it up real quick because this is a rare occurrence what's the ringtone uh i think it is uh uh i always feel like somebody's <laughs> watching me <laughs> perfect uh as you you uh hear that sound i you pick it up and you hear uh, uh mr montgomery uh speaking we uh we have an emergency our you, are you in a safe place? Relatively, yes. Okay. I am under the just put him on speakerphone. Am I on speakerphone? Yeah. yeah. Everyone say. Everyone say hi. Hi. Hey. hey there are more people uh, that, okay. Hey, boss. Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good to hear your voices again. Glad you're okay. Glad you kept them good. Uh, spirits, I hope, since the last time we met, uh, it is unfortunate that we should meet in similar circumstances again. Gator people! Oh, I didn't get that far. <laughs> well, alright. Well, spoiler alert. Gators. There is, you can't hear it, but we all know he's, like, nodding along, going, hmm, okay, God damn it. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, Escalates things, but I'm glad you're you're already on it. That is good to hear that you're being proactive. Yeah, we're actually on our way to your place right now. Oh, I'm not home. Oh, I'm in a uh, <clears throat> I'm in the shipyard. I believe there there is a monster in the area. There is currently. Uh, I'm sitting on a, a high rise right now. Uh, you can like hear the rain around him now that you're got a bit more full listen. There is only one worker still left pulling a late shift overnight. There might be others, I don't think so though, but I'm under the impression that monsters like to go after single targets. So, I was wondering if you could come over. I, I don't see anything, but I just want to be sure. Yeah, I, I guess we're on our way. Uh, we have a victim that we have with us that needs protection. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm happy to give them the explanation. Yeah, that um, would be great. Sure, sure. <sighs> How much has been going on without me? He sounds like maybe a little bit like you guys didn't tell me. <laughs> uh, uh, but you were, he's you a mature were, old man. He yeah. didn't. He doesn't say that, but it's definitely on his voice a little bit. Oh, no, you were step three of our plan. Uh, step one uh, was uh, see if there was anything we could do to... Uh, real quick solve the victim's problem. Step yeah, two was check the location. Step three was get to Charlemagne. Okay. Charlemagne. Yeah, Charlemagne. <clears throat> hey bud, next time you'll be you'll be step number two. Okay. To be fair, you got all the way to the high rise stage without telling us, so Yeah, valid. Well, let's meet in the middle. Alright. You guys are actually like within viewing distance of where <laughs> Like the area that he's in, you don't see him, but you are with you so close to that. Like it's. Oh, uh, in that case, uh, the second like he said that in... that was that was the area, I'd like to flash the high beams on the car. <laughs> are you driving on the sand? 
No. I figured the car was. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we even park. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that you? Yep. Okay. Well, then, uh, uh, come on over. Uh, we're at. Uh, <clears throat> he gives you like an address of like an apartment building for you guys to to meet him at, and he'll he's gonna start running down the the fire escape. Okay. Uh, as we're leaving, I'm giving Cassius his keys back. I figure it's been long enough. For sure. Nice. I'm gonna hop back in the driver's seat and drive us on down. Well, we're walking now. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you, you can you can drive over to the building and then get out. It, it's, oh, okay. it's not. Yeah, it's like a ship. might be good in case we need like a uh, escape or something, or to get some more cook. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a good idea. So if they even if they walk, I'll drive it over, just so it's closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you you pull up to the apartment building and he's he's standing outside. He's got like a you know like an umbrella as he's waiting for y'all. He's in the same sort of outfit that he is always in. Like he seems like a guy who always wears suits no matter what. Uh, as you you pull up, he you know gives you a nod. Uh, he does the like look around for any uh, signs of people who might be listening, and and uh, he couldn't fit in the car, so you'll have to come out if you want to have like a conversation. Yeah, I'm getting out of the car. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's probably for the best that we leave the car anyway. Uh, <clears throat> is he, like, what hurt him? Like, was he attacked? He seems relatively okay. Asthma. I, I think ah. that maybe he, well, I, I don't know. I, there was part of me that was like, well, maybe he's turning into a monster, but I don't, I don't think that's that likely. Maybe he's he... part where Gator. Yeah, he might be the Weregator. Uh, I believe he's at least been infected by whatever's causing the Weregators. Mm. Uh, does Silver work? Is that... Is, is, is it like a werewolf? Uh, classically, lycanthropy is a branch. Like a, a, a sort of... You know, umbrella. So I, I believe Silver is effective, yes. I don't think I have any Silver. I have a jewelry. watch. Yeah. If if you have a, a workshop or something to melt it down, you're welcome to take my watch. But it's only so much. It's not like we can go to the silver bullet store. I mean, I can, but. Well, you got all kind of weird hookups, so I don't. You could probably get about anything. Did you say there's a, a monster in the area right now, though? Yeah, I I am under the impression that. Something is is stalking the alleys. I haven't seen anything. I've <clears throat> I've been here for at least an hour now, and nothing. But you can never be too careful. Maybe the were gators are at war with the were rats. Uh, yeah. Uh, who knows, right? The problem is, is that uh, I suspect that if anyone does see whatever we're seeing here. They're going to call for help or authorities, and they're not going to be seeing the monster. They're going to be seeing whatever their brain tricks them into thinking. So they might, I don't know, in this case, they might call animal control or something like that to, to get rid of an alligator or whatever it is they see. And then those people get in trouble, too. Right. All right. You know what this means, right, guys? We have to lower the were gator to a trap? Oh, I was going to say, let's split up, but now that I think about it, that's a that's a really dumb idea. I like your idea better, Beck. What what, what, what was your idea? Oh, I was going to say, let's split up and search for clues, but your idea is much better. Again, if we can get it in the ocean, it might be weak. Oh, okay. I, I don't like the idea of putting it in the ocean, just because that gives it so many ways to exit and swim away. Yeah, but it'll be slow. Yeah, that's so fair. Can... I mean, does I it know. have to Maybe be since like it came out of the ocean? I don't know. Does it have to be Get like it. authentic salt water? Can't we just dump a bunch of kosher salt in like a kiddie pool? And yeah, I mean, if we could get it into a chlorine swimming pool, we'd probably have the same effect. I am going off of an article that I found on my face uh, <laughs> uh, that was talking about a Florida lady. I'm not sure the exact correlation of <laughs> salt water proportion to water. I don't really know exactly. It, it's more of a guess than anything. Uh, so I guess I'll be the bait. 
is is how, how do we kill it? Yeah, we do need. That. Uh, can I roll to see if I know someone who sells specifically silver bullets or silver nunchucks? Uh, you were talking about your uh, your fixer move, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll it. All right. So if I need to buy something, sell something, or hire someone, I can roll plus charm. Okay. How about it? All right. That is a nine plus two, so an eleven. So on a ten plus, uh, you know, just the person who will be interested or who can help me. Okay, for sure. Uh, I think that uh, there's a, a uh, like a tinkerer in your neighborhood, right? If I yeah, if I may, there's someone from my old gang who um, is the the group's like weapon smith ish. Uh, they know like a little bit of magic, not enough to be uh, an actual mage or anything, but uh, for the neighborhood watch, they provide gear. Are you saying that in game or out of game? Oh, um, that was out of game. Okay. But in game, I can say I have a I have a friend who I think would be able to uh, help us out. They were the the armor for my old crew. Perfect. If they've got silver bullets, that saves us the trouble of having to melt down uh, the good doctor here's watch. Uh, I mean, yeah, silver. I, 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 in the, in the meantime, till they, they get here with whatever you need, can we do something about getting this uh, uh, person out of here? Are we talking about the kid or are we talking about the worker? The worker. The worker. I assume you need to stay with the kid for safety purposes. Uh, he goes, I'm 22. Oh, sorry. Uh, this young gentleman. This tiny boy needs us to look after him. <laughs> okay, okay, you know this what? This sweet baby boy. He's not a boy. Lou is an adult. We're all adults here. I immediately look at back and go, who left this sassy lost child here? Don't, like, fucking meme at me, old man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> anyway, I, hey, I know that, like, silver bullets is pretty classically helpful. Uh, so far as I know, only one of us is packing. Like... Uh, no, also, uh, if you want, I could just go talk to the guy and try to get him to leave here, if that's all we're trying to do. Luna will have more than just bullets for us. Okay. So, uh, you, you know an arms dealer is, is essentially what's going on? I used to be part of a neighborhood watch, and, uh, you know, we hunted stuff like this, and, uh... Yeah, we, we learned how to develop some weapons to, to deal with it. Okay. Well, I don't I don't ask you questions about your lunchbox. Well, you should. It's an incredibly impressive model. But that aside, <laughs> I guess I won't look a silver bullet horse in the mouth. Let's get this shit underway. Uh, both Lewis and uh, 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 Dr. Garcia are like staring at each other like... This is the most ADHD team of monster fighters they've ever seen. <laughs> we are labeled a comedy podcast. We are required to crack a certain number of jokes per minute. Apple <laughs> takes quote, away quote. our license. Can I do something outside of normal human limitations? And uh, from a very far distance, can I tell Loon, like, we're coming to your workshop and like, have this stuff ready for us. You can just uh, uh, give them a call. I think uh, 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 Loon has like set up the the houses uh, uh, like siphons like a telephone line to the the house, so they have like All a right, central cool. like home phone. Like it's one of those old radial phones where it's you know there's a circle and you hit the thing and, and roll it around. Uh, can I borrow someone's phone? I'm gonna call my friend. Sure. Uh, I'll I do like phone. that. Uh, I do like that. June's immediate solution is ah, magic. Do it and rather than just like there's a there's a phone. I don't have a fucking phone. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna call Luna up and uh, just don't use too many of my minutes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna be like, hey, hey, Luna, it's June. Um, 
I need uh I need two bats and uh ten. Ten, I like look over my shoulder to catch it. Like how many bullets you want? I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take as I don't know how many how much do they cost? We'll Give we'll do it. We'll do an even dozen, and I'll tell him not to have an itchy trigger finger. I mouth shout. I uh, I mouth shotgun shells. Uh, and if I can get a, a handful of shells too. Uh, how many? How many for you, big guy? I hold up three fingers. Uh, you're gonna need more than that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say six, <clears throat> uh, a half dozen shells. This arms deal is frighteningly similar to a McDonald's order. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, uh, that's, that's two, two baseball bats with, uh, silver nails, uh, mm -hmm. through them, and then, uh, 18 rounds, uh, 12 handgun and six shotgun. That's a Mick bat, and the shell machine is broken. <laughs> uh, uh, they, uh, they... They mentioned, they like mentioned, like, hey, we've missed you. Uh, you know, it's been too long. Oh, oh, I, uh, I, I did the small talk. I was like, hey, hey, Loon, yeah. good to, good, good to talk to you. Uh, like, I miss you, buddy. Yeah, they, uh, they sound like they're like eternally tired. Like, uh, I can't, like, I can't, I can never sleep. So I'm always just like, all right, I might as well do something and tinker. How's Magpie? Fine. You know. Oh, you two are always. adorable. Yeah. Do you need a, um, yeah, yeah. Do you need a pickup, or do you want a, a June delivery here? Uh, I'm with uh, some squibs. I don't want to bring them by. Uh, if you can meet us, that'd be great. Yeah, alright. We'll drop it off. I whisper to Lewis, What's a squib? Uh, Lewis mentions, like, uh, it's from some, like, I don't know, bad book with a shitty author. <laughs> I don't know is if that, I'm allowed is, to say because she might is, sue us. Is is that a is that a Harriet Turbman? Uh, Harriet Harriet Porber. Yeah, is that a Harriet Porber <laughs> reference? No, it's Sean uh, Tingle rules. I, I I have not read a Harriet Porber book in a really long time. I don't I don't even know where I pulled that word from. Well, but anyways, uh, yeah, they they mentioned that they they can bring it to you. Uh, things are in, uh, like, a uh, pretty rough shape, um, in terms of, like, supplies right now. Uh, but they can, they can get to you, uh, the, the bat with the, the silver nails. You'll have to nail it yourself, but that's, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, the bullets, like, this is maybe the last of their silver stock. Um, I can get you guys resupplied again, that's no problem. Um, if you send, uh, if you send Magpie by, uh, the 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 tavern um james will do the usual payment uh they nod and realize remember that they're on a phone call and we go yeah yeah right uh and they will they will be out here in uh 20 minutes is, is their plan uh so you have uh, 20 minutes without the armaments where this creature is somewhere on the streets what do you do uh Chalamet, did you want uh me to help try to get this kid out of this place or not the kid but the person who's working yeah i was actually gonna go uh i was thinking about knocking and i i didn't really have a great plan other than my usual is to pull the fire alarm but i don't know if that's advisable right now just to get them to sit outside uh, I, I mean i think i might be able to get them to go home if i if uh, mind. have have the right luck yeah uh, good luck uh wh where where is he at uh, they, he points on over to uh, what just looks like a um, like a like a ship house where they like do repair works on fishing boats and things, uh, and you can actually see them inside. They have like a big yellow uh, window that has like yellow light that shows them they're like sanding down uh, some like big wooden piece uh, to like like with a power sander to to get it to fit like a certain shape for a boat. And they they have headphones in and goggles in, like they are in totally unaware of their surroundings, so if something were to pop in there, it'd be doomed. Um, before uh, Cassius goes over, I'm going to reach into my pocket real quick and hand him a fake ID for the water department that I have. Ooh, um, I'm going to be like, hey, I need this back, um, but it says, like, Edmund Dantes, Louisiana Water Department, 
Uh, it's got, like, it looks official. Gotcha. Does it have, like, a picture on it or anything? <laughs> no, no, no picture. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, or, or, no, I guess there is a picture of June, um, but, like, <laughs> if you hold it, like, with your yeah. thumb covering yeah. it, it'll be fine. Yeah, you got this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to walk over to the, the worker. Uh, I'm gonna put on my, uh, train conductor hat and walk over. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can... <laughs> It's like an elect- train conductor hat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for a good roll. Does the, does the hat fit? I, I think so. <laughs> either either a small head or this is a very big ch- children's hat. You have described uh, Cassius as wearing a hat um, already. So are you telling me that Cassius removes his hat? Puts on a new disguise hat. <laughs> well, yeah, if he kept both on, it would just be a hat on a hat. For people who are unfamiliar with how Monster of the Weeks works, uh, it's not like your classic uh, tabletop games where there's like a set difficulty challenge with a number you have to beat. It's always the same numbers. So when you're manipulating a person, as long as you roll well, it turns everyone else in the universe into a dipshit. <laughs> but, well, it's then the keeper's job to fucking justify add in. why they. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I think Cassius's force of personality and the speed at which he talks confuses people <laughs> enough to- that's his general strategy. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be working. Uh, but anyways, uh, as you start walking over, we see that um, uh, Garcia uh, starts going back up the fire escape, and uh, on the second floor of it, he has like a hunting rifle with a scope on it, and is, uh, uh, gets back into a position where he can kind of like scan the alleyways. Is, uh, he has, like, a set of binoculars as well, and he's, like, looking for trouble, wherever it may be. Uh, is there, like, a clipboard in my car that I could bring as well? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna put on the conductor's hat, and I'm gonna walk over. You presumably knock on the, uh, glass door that they have. It takes a minute. Yeah, I wanna, I have, like, a, a bewildered and somewhat confused and angry face on, of, like, someone who is in authority that... Uh, uh, you know, is confused as to why someone would still be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you knock on the door for a little while. They they stop with the the grinder, uh, and we see that uh, they are like a uh, like a considerably older um uh, person. Uh, they are like in their uh, early not considerably older. They're in their early fifties or so. Uh, they have some some light scruff on the side of their cheeks. They uh. uh are, are, are keeping pretty like baggy loose clothing which maybe isn't safe for the job they're doing but they don't really seem to care um they're they don't seem very safety minded uh, and they're just trying to get their job done and they uh walk on over and, and open the, the the door and they, they take off like their their goggles and and uh and headphones and ask hey uh, can i can i help you with something uh- uh, yeah, pal. Uh, I was I was wondering uh, if you could tell me which uh, manager said you could be here right now, so I could uh, call my boss and have them fired because there should be no one on this work site right now. We're doing a uh, midnight check of uh, for insurance uh, reasons. Uh, I work with the water department. There should be no workers on this site right now. I'm gonna flash the bell. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Donnie didn't. <laughs> sure, uh, go ahead and roll me a manipulated person, as they say. Uh, oh. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Teely said that, you know, I could if I, I, I didn't have anything better to do, and I, I just wanted to, you know, get things done before tomorrow, keep things going quickly and smoothly. Uh, that's a 10. Uh, 10. They'll, they'll do it for the reason you, you want them to. So you want them to, to vacate the premises? Yeah. Uh, so I'll be like, oh, that's, I, I appreciate the work ethic, kid. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I was a bit strong, uh, uh, at the beginning. It's just, uh, it's kind of late, you know, you don't expect to see anyone here. Just, uh. You know, get home safe, but we do need the work site tonight, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, sh- sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, it's going to take me like a little while to pack things up and shut everything down for the night. Uh, d- uh, do, you, do you need to like stay here and supervise or something or? Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I've, I'll, I'll stay here with you. Uh, uh, it, it's better for liability reasons if you have someone with you at this time. Okay, uh, then uh, there's plenty of seats over there. There's a vending machine if you need it in the back. Uh, there's a bathroom right over by it, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to take me about 15, 20 minutes. 
Okay. And all that's thing, all of those things that you have to do in that 15 to 20 minutes are necessary before you can leave this site. None of it are uh, things that you could wait until the morning to do. Uh, some of them have to happen because there's, you know, heavy machinery that needs to get closed down properly. Otherwise, it might uh, uh, be hazardous to other people's health in the morning. Uh, I, I guess I could cut out some of, like, the cleaning stuff to do it in about 10. Yeah, but let's do that. Uh, and it would uh, be possible right. for me to to roll to help him somehow? Uh... Do, 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 do. Uh, they are... Mm-hmm. Roll me just it's a not, straight... That's totally okay. Yeah. I, I don't think so. This is just operating heavy machinery. But they'll, they are gonna do what you ask. They're gonna get out of here really soon. Cool. Yeah, there's just a, a small danger window of about 10 minutes. Yeah. All right, and what are the rest of you doing? What are the rest of you doing? Uh... I'm lying down, because I'm still beat to fuck. That's fair. I'm sitting with Lewis and uh, taking out my uh, duffel bag from uh, Cassius's car. Uh, in it is probably my standard gear plus the books that I uh, asked Cassius to grab for me earlier. And I'm going to look through a book on lycanthropy and see if there's anything that can cure recent victims. Mm-hmm. Sure. Absolutely. How about it? Uh, and, and Beck, at the same time, what are you up to? Uh, I think just hanging out with Lewis, trying to, like, keep them calm. Okay. Uh, we watch the, uh, the, the time tick by. When you're watching the clock, it always moves so much slower. Uh, so as it uh, sits there and ticks and, and ticks from the next minute to minute, uh, it, it's, it feels agonizing. As I'm, I'm sure uh, Cash is going to relate to you like the 10 minute window in which uh, it's going to take for it to get here uh, or for this guy to, to, to leave. And uh, Matt, go ahead and roll your investigative mystery. That is a 7 plus 3, so that's a 10. Okay. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What is it going to do? What is it being concealed here? Uh, I guess what can hurt it and what is being concealed here might lead me to what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, what can hurt it is in like the, I'll call it infection for now. Yeah, the infection. Sure. Uh, so... Uh, what this does, as you can read in your, your, your books, is infect their morphology. It is, uh, their, their whole body has to start producing massive amounts of, of energy to force their body to turn, to uh, uh, grow cells at such a rapid rate to make their sort of hide armor. But you know that uh, without this um, sort of polony activation, uh, it, it just doesn't turn on. Like, the, the the two of them need to interact. Like, it's some sort of hormone that dumps into their body. They might carry it latently forever, uh, but until that polony stuff uh, stops producing, they will continue to be like this. You can kill them, for sure, and silver will hurt them. Uh, but uh, the sort of affliction upon them doesn't end until that... Uh, like, green specks stop. All right, and for what is being concealed here, do I know whether or not that polony stuff is coming from a main, uh, wear gator? Uh, sure. Uh, for, as you're, like, trying to, to kind of piece things together as to, like, where, what the source of this thing may be, uh, there has to be some sort of mother creature. Uh, but I think you can tell that it's not actually a were gator because otherwise, in cases like that, where there's, like, an alpha or something, it is, like, this lead infecting creature that puts this curse upon other monsters, uh, and then create, forces them to turn. So, uh, what is being concealed here, there is, like, a, a stationary monster that's only real job is just letting out this pollen. I'll keep calling it. It's the most applicable term there. All right, I'm going to relay this information to the rest of the group. As you say this, the car rocks and one of the back left tires 
pops as the whole car shifts and clangs down onto the sidewalk. I was just about to ask if I could heal myself, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, Lewis like rocks to the side and uh, like puts his both of his hands across the windows. I think his hand is on someone's face by accident uh, as he's trying to stabilize himself. Uh, and we see Garcia peek from over the balcony at what's going on. What does everyone do? Uh, I looked uh, back. You hear a low. And the car shifts as it starts to rock onto its side. Uh, I probably want to try to get, um, I know Lewis has to stay in the car because of the pollen, but I feel like that's just not a safe place to be right now. All right. So, uh, I, oh. go ahead. I shoot it with a shotgun. You're not outside. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what point. I was saying. Look, I, I think Beck wants to try to grab Lewis and get him out of the car. Act under wait, pressure. Wait, but the car has no roof. Take someone. The, the car has like a mild roof, doesn't it? Like it, it's mostly well, it's covered. A, it's a convertible that uh, I had said uh, a few times uh, had its uh, top uh, is broken down in, in the down position since 2001 was what I had said. Oh, like okay. Like I, I was imagining. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know if you want that to be canon, but it doesn't have to be, but... No, sure. Yeah, uh, there the are parts of it out, but the, the the car is, like, on its... almost on its side. It's about to flip over with you guys in it right now. While Beck is gonna lead Lewis away, I wanna blast the creature with some fire. Uh, cause I had said I was laying down. I was not in the car. Okay, I thought you were lying down in the car. Uh, then where I didn't think there right was now? enough room. Uh, I just assumed I was, like on the sidewalk, like, leaning against the wall or something. Yeah, okay, for sure. Uh, then as you, like, your, your eyes pop open as you see uh, the car start to rock up on its side, and you'll have to, like, get up and properly move to go see what's going on. But it's been a little while since you've uh, put on any form of, like, magical eyes, but you are on drugs, I think. So you do see low to the ground, uh, uh, like, the end of a, a, a reptilian tail as it swerves around the car. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a burn everything down. Um, Alrighty. So, I am going to, uh, take out another one of those, uh, like, tiny film containers from the 90s, and yep. inside it, uh, is concealed the whisper of a nun, and, uh, her prayer, as I open it, escapes out of the bottle, and, uh, I shout out, uh, Whoa! Balthavad! And raise my hand at the creature. And I rolled a four. Uh, all right, the, the effect is nasty. Uh, as you release this uh, uh, nigh uncontrollable uh, uh, blast from your hand, you are rocketed backwards as the uh, the car itself, uh, you see that uh, uh, its, its black left tire, which had been flattened a moment ago, uh, spews uh, like, like rockets off and it bolts you across the side of the head and you take a harm and become unstable. Uh, uh, and the creature uh, it definitely avoids it. Snake eyes, baby. Gotta love yeah. it. Uh, and you are like rolling across the ground as uh, uh, the, the, the magic has caused you to like, you know, rock, like pulse away. Uh, yeah. And the car starts to tip over. It's about to be down. Lee, would getting um, Lewis out of the car be acting under pressure or would it be protect someone? Either one's fine. Okay. Uh, so can, can we satisfy that? Try to get him out of the car. Yeah, for okay. sure. Uh, be, uh, either I one. Wanna, I want to do protect someone. Sure. Let's say seven. All right. Uh, on a seven, you protect them okay, but you'll suffer some or all of the harm they were going to get. How are you protecting them? Are you like throwing them out of the car? Um. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, uh, you get a plus one when you use your nunchucks, right? Um, uh, yes. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also get a, a plus one to protect someone. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. 
Uh, so you, uh, how do you, how do the nunchucks come into play in getting him out of this car? Do the nunchucks have to come into play? They don't, it? but you get a plus one in, in protect someone when you use your, uh, ancient weapons. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, that's part of ancient fighting arts. Got you. Okay. Uh, I think that, um, the seatbelts, as we've established in this car, are garbage. And it's, like, stuck as uh, Lewis is trying to, like, unclick it. Uh, so uh, Beck just whips out the nunchucks and breaks the um, uh, seatbelt <laughs> so that Lewis can get free, and then she just shoves him out of the car. As he, he like, goes up high and rolls across the, the sidewalk for a moment as he's, like, briefly airborne, the car flips over, uh, and uh, as, as it does so, uh, Flint, I think you're in the, the sort of... Um, like space within the seats where it rolls on top of you and you're mostly okay as it doesn't land on you. Uh, but Beck, you kind of overextend and helping him uh, shove out and the side of the car lands on your, your chest and you are pinned there and you take two harm. Uh, can I train off of Beck's protect somebody and protect somebody trying to protect Beck? Uh, sure, sure, give it a try. Hey, Lee, does that uh, bottled up fire come back? I was going to do that when you did something bad with magic. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So protect somebody is plus tough, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. plus tough. So that is a seven. Seven. You protect them okay. <laughs> you suffer somewhere all the harm you were going to get. Uh, you both <laughs> take one harm as you dive to come, like, push her out, and the, the car lands on the both of you. And it spreads out some of the weight, which is good. Uh, but it's also uh, not amazing that the two of you are trapped, pinned against the ground right now, as this alligator creature is, is swooping around. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cassius, how are things going away in the... 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 <laughs> the... Uh, doc, shipyard right now. I was gonna say, am I aware of anything that's happening? Or am I, I don't think so. And... You're just uh, in a building. <laughs> uh, how close is this person to being done? Uh, maybe a couple minutes, four or five more. Uh, since I haven't heard anything and, uh, don't really know what's going on, I, uh, I think I was gonna do this before, I feel like it would be, uh, particularly fitting now to roll read a bad situation, because I think he sure. was gonna keep an eye out. Sure, uh, absolutely. Since he couldn't help the dude if he was gonna just at least try to. Um, that is a seven on the die plus one sharp, so eight. Uh, eight. Uh, okay, so go ahead and hold one. Uh, do, 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 do. I, th I think it's gonna be. Are there any dangers that I haven't noticed? Yeah, yeah. You, you've been texting. Uh, you've been texting the gang for a little bit now, being like, "He'll be out in a couple minutes," and there's been pretty regular response. Uh, Chalamet texts you at some point to, you know, let you know everything seems clear, and then there's like a noticeable pause on that, uh, and there's like a long chat wait. Chris, you. Now that this place is 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 occupied, and everyone else is just kind of waiting around, and a lot two of your gang members are in pain. They might become the new targets, so if they're not keeping their eyes uh, their eyes open and heads on a swivel, they might be attacked. And so, are there any dangers you haven't noticed? Your friends are in danger, for sure. Gotcha. Uh, so, would it be possible for me to, uh, uh, I would like to turn to the dude and be like, Look, I've got to go handle a situation. Uh, is there a back door here? Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Look, when you leave, take the back door, stay low, get out quickly as you can. These motherfuckers are about to see what happens when you mess with the motherfucking water department, and I'm gonna pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund Dantes, uh, water department. Uh, and I'd like to, uh... Go, 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 go. That <laughs> man files that. for transfer within a week. <laughs> <laughs> the result of that is what I'd like to use the let's get out of here thing, where uh, I protect someone by telling them what to do. Yeah, for uh, sure! <laughs> <laughs> I hope roll I roll it. poorly on this. <laughs> oh my uh, god! <laughs> uh, that's, that's an 11. <laughs> yeah! Alright, uh, so... Out of 10 plus, you choose an extra. You suffer little harm, all impending danger is now focused on you, you inflict harm on the enemy, or you hold the enemy back. Uh, I, f <laughs> I feel like 
the only logical thing that's going to happen is I'll I focus all danger on me as I run out the front door <laughs> shooting wildly into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes, perfect. As <laughs> you like uh, tip your, your hat cap as you dive out into the, the city streets, and you see that the, the your car has flipped over, and at the slightest sign of something ha happening, you start firing off towards it. <laughs> <laughs>